we have something that is very scarce, something called capital. This is what actually we use to fund so many projects, both within South Africa and the rest of the continent. We are still a continent, actually, that is still bedeviled by so many challenges. We are still a continent, actually, that is still bedeviled by abject poverty, which actually then start to say, as DFIs and as state-owned companies, we need to be able to step to the plate. And therefore, it was very important that we set our mission. We said we want to advance the development impact in the region and exp by expanding access to development finance and effective, integ effectively integrating and implementing sustainable development solutions. You, we have a four-pronged strategy that looks at how do we improve the quality of life of our people through social infrastructure and making sure that we support economic growth through investment in economic infrastructure and thereby ensuring that we support our regional integration as we all understand that we are a continent that is still sitting at just 10% of uh, intra-trade, the intra-regional trade when others actually are sitting in the top order of 70%, 45%. So we still have a very long way to go. And the, the chief culprit is the poor or lack of efficient, effective infrastructure network across the continent. We all know that we have just about 37 sea-facing countries, which says we ought to also start attending to our sea port harbors. We also need to start addressing our rail infrastructures. We need to start addressing our ICT in terms of broadband infrastructure. We need to start addressing our border posts. We need to start addressing the quality of water for our people on the continent. And above all, we can only be able to achieve that if we make sure that we never take our eyes off the financial sustainability of the bank. Because it is that money that we make that we are able actually to then re-leverage on it in terms of being able actually to lend much more to other projects that actually so much need development. We also have identified key strategic enablers as being strategic partnerships, ensuring that we're on top of our game in terms of business intelligence, improving our op operational excellence, and engendering high-performance culture, making sure that our balance sheet through smart capital management and cash management actually is also key, and then looking at how we make sure that our innovative infrastructure solution is being carried out very efficiently and effectively. We also believe that underpin underpinning all of these are the values of shared vision, high performance culture within the organization, service orientation, our understanding who our clients are and what is it that they expect of us, innovation, because we we need to make sure that there is smart management of capital. We need to make sure that we are able actually to see how we can be able to solve the problem of infrastructure funding by employing innovative solutions. And again, integrity, making sure that the governance of the institution and making sure that the leadership of the organization lead this organization with absolute integrity and honesty because it is through those that actually we begin to see all these issues across the continent deviling state-owned companies. And we have chosen as, as the DFI of South Africa that we want to make sure that we, we, we lead by example. We have seen that since the, 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 the economic crisis that actually started around about 2007, 2008, many economies in the globe have battled and we have not been spared as South Africa. We have seen a very pedestrian growth rate actually in the, in, the, in, the, in the recent past and we believe that it is important. We have also seen with the setting up of, 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 of PICC to try actually and drive infrastructure because infrastructure is the greatest catalyst of economic activities. So it is on that basis that actually that within that crisis we have also seen uh, opportunities as DFIs and our role as DFIs to come in and to, 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 to drive. We, we have also, we've also seen the challenges around municipalities in terms of their institutional capacities and financial constraints. 
And therefore, it was for that reason that actually we responded by setting up our, our, our planning and, and, and implementation support unit to help, to try and help these municipalities to deal with these problems much more effectively. I must say that it is still early days, ladies and gentlemen. We still have a very long way to go, but we do believe that as we move along, we'll be able actually to begin to prove the point that it is all possible and it is doable. And it's all about making sure that there is effective and decisive leadership at all spheres. And again, when it comes to project preparation, we have realized that there's a serious market failure because we take forever actually to get projects into, into, into bankability. And this is one of the key roles of DFIs. And we've said to ourselves, we want to be able actually to act as a tip of the spear, so to speak, to make sure that we are a, a, a serious catalyst in making sure that our projects get to, to, to bankability, wherein it becomes easier for the other players actually to come in and making it happen.